Looks like there is a new AI native app creation tool that is quite useful. Introducing Tasking AI. This is the new standard in AI native app development. It's this new tool or this new platform you can say that can unify modules like models, retrieval, as well as assistance and tools into one seamless ecosystem, which is going to streamline the creation and development of applications for developers. Projects in tasking AI are organizational units, which are designed to group related activities and resources. It incorporates a variety of chat completion models. It can basically work with distinct capabilities and different types of toolkits. Just take a look at this example, which is showcasing the playground where you can create different types of agents. You can see that on this dashboard, you're able to create a chat completion agent, which can help you be your assistant. So in this case, you can see that it responds to whatever queries you might have. And this assistant can help collect different types of data using the retrieval agent. It can use the chat completion tool that can help you process whatever information that is being used. It uses different types of tool sets and so much more to process whatever queries that you might have. In this case, you can then even export this into any other workflow that you want to implement this chatbot that you had just created. We got some great news coming out of the Patreon page as we have a couple more subscriptions being given out this month. Now, this month we had a total of four different subscriptions being given out to our Patreons and this just shows how unique and how amazing this community is. We've been focusing really, really hard on providing you guys with the best content as well as the best applications for free for just simply joining our Patreon page. You not only access subscriptions, but you access resources, collaboration, networking opportunities, and so much more. Definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below if you want to access our private Discord. Just take a look at the examples of different APIs that developers can use to simplify your own workflow. We can see that if you're working in different areas in creating different AI applications, you can see that you will be working with multi LM inference, stateful assistant APIs, building your own knowledge, tool integration, and so much more. In this case, you can see that tasking AI's APIs are used to simplify your workflow when you're building these different types of AI native applications. For example, if you're working on some sort of chat completion API, you can use the code that is written in Python, which is basically just demonstrating how you can use this API to interact with specific models. In this case, you can specify what model that you want to work with. If it's Mistral, you can input the Mistral ID model over here, and that way you can work and implement any sort of multi LM inference. Secondly, if you want to work with a stateful assistant API, which is showcasing how you can create and generate different types of responses for a stateful assistant. These are just examples you can see, which can help you implement as well as simplify your workflows by using the APIs that are provided from uh, tasking AI. It's overall showcasing that it can demonstrate the capabilities through the APIs that are provided for building stateful assistance, executing different types of tool integration, and so much more. There's a lot of versatile, capable options with this platform and something that we'll take a look at as we go further into the video. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be taking a look at tasking AI a little bit further in detail by taking a look at some of the capabilities, showcasing how you can get started and so much more. So with that thought, guys, definitely stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at tasking AI. This is revolutionizing the way we use different types of AI native app development tools, as this is something that brings in simplicity and it's something that will help you create applications like GPTs with various different types of capabilities. This is a platform that will help facilitate the development of multi-tenant applications. And this is by integrating a variety of different types of large language models 
models from different providers, as well as using different types of inference, retrieval, assistant toolkits, as well as many other capabilities by seamlessly combining them to streamline the development process of different AI native applications. This is a cohesive design that is going to ensure that there's going to be an efficient, intelligent, and user-friendly experience to create these different types of tools. Now, as it's stated over here in the subheading, it's the next gen solution for LLM application development, as it's basically making lives so much easier for different types of developers, as you can have an efficient, flexible LLM app development. And this is where you have a sleek, intuitive console, which is a really nice UI, in my opinion. It's quite easy to navigate and understand. And it's a framework that's designed to be quite clear, where it can separate between different types of front-end and back-end system processes. It's quite ideal for developers because you have different types of comprehensive client SDK, where it's tailored to meet the needs of all developers, where it provides efficient and flexible environments for app development whether you're a beginner or you're someone who is quite experienced it's something that will help you in any possible way now if you go down a little bit more you can see that you have various different ranges of LM providers that you can actually use whether that's hugging face providers or whether that's close source providers like open AI you have the ability to use any sort of model that you want you can easily get started and this is something that we'll take a look at as we go further into the video. Now, you might be wondering, why would you actually use tasking AI? Well, it's because this is something that addresses the challenges by decoupling different types of key modules. It offers a broader support for various models, provides open source frameworks, as well as various ranges of toolkits to help you create these different types of applications. It's enhancing the adaptability, which is making it a superior choice for developers who might want different types of needs with versatile AI solutions that are capable of sharing data. This is particularly valuable for complex and customizable projects where flexibility is used to handle shared data and essential needs. Now, you can see that AI dream into reality with all encompassing AI toolbox is one of the subheadings they have on their main page where you can effortlessly work with different assistant integrations. You can work with retrieval augmented generation, customizable tool creation as well as advanced inference capabilities you have a lot of flexibility in terms of using this app to create various other types of ai native applications now here is a table that is basically comparing Langchain as well as open ai assistant api to tasking ai we can see that this is a completely free solution to use and you can get started with it right away by joining the waitlist right now and i'll leave a link to this in the description below so that you can get started and register with this but you can see that you have unlimited project members with tasking ai you have different types of workspace workspace roles you have a whole ecosystem that is open source you have a retrieval system you have different types of tools, multi LM providers, custom memory, AI, API oriented, you have multi tenant project, you have local development and so much more guys. Whereas these other projects don't have most of these capabilities that tasking AI does. Now, the great thing is that this is a project that is quite new as it was just recently released like around a week ago and they have a quite strong roadmap to keep on innovating this application. We can see that they have started off with the initial reveal, which is showcasing the debut of different types of capabilities. They're going to try to make it a little bit more accessible by having a client SDK and a REST API reference, which will be released to the open source community. They're going to also work on a full stack development app by tasking AI, which should be downloadable onto your local desktop, as well as different types of upgrades, which should be coming fairly soon. We can see that this is quite a strong roadmap in my opinion, and I truly believe that this is something that you should take a look at because it's an open source solution to helping you create various different types of applications. Now guys, you can actually get started with Docker as well as installing this locally onto your desktop. So if you're interested, take a look at the GitHub repo, which will showcase a lot more as to how you can get started with the installation. They also have a cloud hosting service, which is currently on wait lists. So if you're interested, you can go to the Google Docs and then check it out from that point. And that's where you can register for the wait list. 
they have a documentation, which I'll also leave a link to in the description below, which will give you a lot more information about the key concepts, how you can get started using different types of capabilities within Tasking AI. Unfortunately, I can't actually show you how the playground actually looks at this current moment because I do not have access to this at this moment. It's something that I just stumbled across on Twitter and it's something that I really wanted to make a video on because it's something that's quite new and it will basically be really helpful for a lot of the people who watch my channel. But with that thought, guys, I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you join the waitlist if you're interested in this product. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out the Patreon page. If if you want to access our private discord make sure you follow us on twitter if you guys haven't already to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai videos but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas